Tonight, a lot of eyes are on the city of Canton, where precincts are counting up the last remaining votes as candidates in a very competitive race for state representative wait for the final results. Yeah, this one we've been following since the beginning. We turn now to KETK's Nolan Hoffman, who spoke with incumbent representative Jill Dutton, and he joins us live from downtown Canton with the latest on this race. Nolan. Hey guys, the crowd has cleared out a bit here at the Jill Dutton headquarters in downtown Canton as Brett Money continues to unofficially lead this race. And as uh, people I spoke to just minutes ago, they tell me while they're disappointed with the results uh, with this election tonight, they said they're hopeful for the future. And also moments ago, I got a chance to speak with Jill Dutton herself after she addressed her supporters and team here in downtown Canton, telling me that tonight wasn't the outcome she wanted, but adding she's incredibly thankful for all of her volunteers, the campaign, and of course, her supporters. Despite the results tonight, Dutton telling me this is only the beginning for her. I'm disappointed in the outcome, but I went into this believing that um, if I just worked really, really hard and um, I didn't let it crush me, I didn't let it affect me, I wasn't doing this because I wanted a title or because I just wanted the job itself. I just really wanted to help people. Dutton said she looks forward to helping people in her district over the months to come. Now, if money wins this primary, Dutton will remain in the House District 2 seed until January of next year. Guys, I'll send it back to you.